new number and that new number is known as cube number. For example, if we multiply 2 by itself 3 times, then we obtain 8. So, 8 is a cube number. Similarly, if we multiply 3 by 3, 3 times, then we obtain 27 and 27 again is a cube number. Now students, we have to check, is 216 a perfect cube or not? So, for checking this, first of all, we have to find prime factors of 216 by prime factorization method. So, after doing prime factors of 216, we have 216 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3. Means, we have the prime factor 2 appears in a group of 3. And prime factor 3 is also appear in group of 3. Thus, we can call 216 a perfect number. Now students, second type of questions is find the smallest number by which a number must be multiplied to obtain a perfect cube number. Means we have a number which is not a perfect cube and which number should be multiplied by that number to make a perfect cube number. For example, we have 243 which is not a perfect cube number. We have to make it a perfect cube number. So, first of all, we have to find prime factors of 243 in this manner. So, we have 243 is equal to 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Means, we have a group of 3 numbers but Two factors are remaining alone. Means they cannot make a group of three. Prime factor three does not appear in a group of three. It means 243 is not a perfect cube. To make it a cube, we need one more three. We have two threes and for making a perfect cube, we need one more 3. In that case, we have to multiply 243 by a 3. So, we have prime factors 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 means 729. And 729 is a perfect cube number. So, in this manner, we can make a number a perfect cube number. Now, our next question is find the smallest number by which 81 must be divided to obtain a perfect cube. So, first of all, we have to find prime factors of 81 by this method. So, we have 81 is equal to 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. So, in the prime factors of 81, we have a group of 3's. But, we have one factor 3 remains alone. Means, it cannot make a group of 3's. The prime factor 3 does not appear in group of 3. So, 81 is not a perfect cube. In prime factorization of 81, the factor 3 appears only one time. So, if we divide 81 by 3, we have 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 divided by 3. Means we have 27. And 27 means 3 into 3 into 3. Means 27 is a perfect cube number. So, the smallest number by which 81 must be divided to make it a perfect cube is 3. Now students, another type of question is find the cube root of any number. For example, we have to find cube root of 64. So, first of all, we have to do prime factors of 64 by factorization method. And in this manner, we have 64 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. After doing prime factorization, we have to form a group of triplet of factors of same number. 
like this we have to form a group of triplets so we have one group of triplet and we have one another group of triplet now we have to write only one factor in place of a group means we have to write only one time factor 2 for this group and for this group we have to write one time a factor 2 and then we have to multiply it 2 into 2 is 4 so 4 is cube root of 64 and the symbol for cube root is we can write in this manner this is symbol of square root and we have to write raise a power of 3 so we call it cube root of 64 this is symbol for cube root of 64 cube root of 64 and the answer is 4 means cube root of 64 is